Alright y'all, I legit have 15 minutes to get ready. Um, your girl basically is just running behind. Give me a second to fix the lighting. Well, I'm going to fix it but not block my camera. Ooh. figure out how to do this okay that actually kind of works you guys can see I'm, my lighting is a little bit better it's just coming from like upper um anyways I don't have a lot of time so we're just gonna get started I have a few Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. They're corrected. So I had packed this makeup bag when I went to my mom's, but I barely kind of used it. So I'm like, should I use this one? Or this is the one I've used when I'm at home usually and then honorable mention to this but this mostly just has beauty tools in it so I'm not going to worry about this one okay start by pushing our hair back I'm wearing a towel before people think I am naked under here which you'd be surprised how many people will think if they don't see my stuff that I'm not wearing any clothing okay first off we're gonna use the elf jelly pop primer And I can already tell, like, I need to clean this mirror. I'm using the Hello Kitty vanity mirror I like to use. Rub this really good. I like this primer. It just is, it's very sticky. <coughs> Someone else reviewed this and had said it, it used to be, like, the formula didn't used to be this sticky. It used to be, like, more jello like or jelly like but it's very sticky now <sighs> we're gonna go ahead and take some concealer um anyways we've just been kind of chilling today but i plan on working this uber tonight after my friend's birthday dinner so that is also why i'm kind of like rushing i don't want to do my makeup though too over the top because i am going to be working after because i'm probably not gonna have time to like take off my makeup and i probably wouldn't like want to come home and do that but I am gonna come home, change, and pack before I um, go up to my mom's. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if that's smart. Well, I think I'm gonna have to because I don't have time to pack right now. So I'm probably not even gonna make it to my mom's till closer to 10, 10.30. And then I wanna work until about I'm going to try to work till 5 a.m. I just don't know if I I can um, do that feasibly. Anyways, um, I've been using this Tarte Double Duty um, foundation. I got like the sample slash travel size of it. 
and I'm almost out of this, so we might have to invest in the full thing. But I have a lot of foundations that I like to use, so I I don't know if I'm gonna use get a full size of this one until maybe I finish up the one I currently have. But anyway, let's talk about something that's been on my mind. I feel like I always think of have topics and then forget about them. Like this is why when I make my chit chat videos, they they're very sporadic. Cause if I forget to write it down, I forget about it. And then also, I feel like I don't have. Sorry guys, I don't have the same energy when I'm like filming them later so I have to talk about things that are like as soon as it comes up or it's just like forgotten about almost um but what was on my mind was basically um how fresh and fit supposedly I don't actually listen to their podcast so I have no idea which one I'm pretty sure it's fresh though fresh got some girl pregnant and was trying to is trying to pressure her into getting an abortion which i feel like is really messed up and this is why i say regardless of your stance on abortion you should not want to date a man who is pro-choice and here's why <laughs> here's why Pro-choice men are the ones who benefit the most from abortion. You know, the women women have to go through the actual consequences. They're the ones who have to experience everything. And the men just get the benefits of that. Um, and they don't have to be parents. They don't have to deal with the aftermath. They're not risking, you know anything they just are getting kind of like they use they benefit from you know having it and there was like this post that one of my friends had shared that really rubbed me the wrong way that kind of said a similar thing where this guy was like talking or this woman was interviewing this guy and it might have been a sarcastic whatever type of thing but I didn't find what he said to be funny I didn't think it was a joking matter. I personally don't think abortion is something you should joke about. Like, it's something that is very, very... One, it's already a very controversial subject, so... But also, I feel like it's a very sensitive subject. That it's just, like, a serious matter that we sh people should not make jokes about. So, essentially, he made a joke where the butt of the joke was him saying, Oh, well... If I got a girl pregnant, I think I would just try to get her to get an abortion type thing because he doesn't, basically he doesn't want to um, take accountability or responsibility for, you know, his part. So that's basically kind of just the mentality a lot of men who support abortion have. They support abortion because it's their way of being able to sleep around and not have to face consequences for their actions. So, of course, they want women. They prefer women who are also going to be more comfortable, I guess, making that choice. But all that being said, basically, fresh and fit are just the type of men I would never date. They are not men that I consider to be... They claim, they make the claim themselves that they're supposedly high-value men. They are not high-value men in my eyes at all. Um, they don't have good morals, clearly. And, you know, the situation that Fresh is in right now kind of just shows what type of man he is. He is the type of man who sleeps around with women manipulates them and then when they get pregnant bells and basically he tried to be like well i'm not going to be in that kid's life like and this is what i mean like this is why <laughs> i 
I will never have this problem because I made a decision from a very young age to wait till I'm married to have sex. And I don't ever want to be in a situation like this woman. Like, I feel very bad for her because, you know, this man pretty much made it seem like, oh, she's the one, I'm going to marry you. And this is also why I say, until that man marries you, do not listen to what he says. His actions need to match his word. His actions need to match his words. I don't care what a man is telling you, how he feels about you, whatever. Feelings change. But it's just the fact that he basically made it seem like, oh, you're the woman I see a future with and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, men say these things. They be lying. <laughs> they be lying. Until he's actually proposed. Until you're actually married, those words don't mean a thing. And women need to stop falling for words. If his actions don't match what he's saying, run for the heels. That man was not serious about her at all. So basically, like the messages were just sad too because she, he's basically being like, well, it's not fair. Like, you're just going to raise this kid and I'm not going to love him. I don't want him. All of these like horrible things. And I'm just like, these men are actually trash. Like, me some of these men are actually just trash. Like, horrible human beings. Like, imagine saying how you want nothing to do with your own child because you wanted to have sex and thought there wouldn't be consequences. There are. I'm sorry. Every time you have sex, there's a risk of pregnancy. It don't matter what type of birth control you're using. The pill. If you have an implant. If you're wearing condoms. There is a risk of pregnancy every time you have sex. I don't know why people pretend like, you know, it's not possible to get pregnant when you're actively having sex. Especially if you're having unprotected sex. But even protected sex, there's a risk. So... It's just like, y'all need to stop acting like actions don't have consequences. Because they sure wham bam do. And one of the consequences that he's facing is thinking, oh, well, I can bully this woman into getting an abortion so I don't have to have the responsibility of caring for a child that he doesn't want or he wasn't planning at the end of the day he wasn't planning it planning to have a child with this woman and so is it fair to the child that they have to deal with a absentee father of course not but i also don't think it's fair to pressure a woman to get oh my gosh i forgot how pigmented this blush is I also don't think it's fair that for men to pressure women into getting an abortion and try to use like, well, I won't be in this child's life, threaten that they won't contribute at all in order to pretty much coerce women into an abortion. Like, that's just, it's so messed up to me. Um, so yeah, I've always felt that way too. Like, if a man says he's pro-choice, it's because it benefits him. It benefits men. I'm sorry. It does not benefit women. And I've been saying this for a long time. Abortion really does not benefit women. I know they try to sell it to us that it does. They try to sell it like it's this, this it's a woman's um, reproductive rights. But at the end of the day, the main people who benefit from it is men who don't want the responsibility of caring for a child that they helped create. Because women getting abortions, they still have to deal with trauma from the abortion. Because I hate to tell people this, abortion has consequences. It is not an easy get out of jail free car. It comes with a lot of consequences. And I've made videos on, about it before, but basically it's like, there's a lot of women have trauma after having an abortion. And a lot of women also later end up regretting them too. That doesn't get talked at, talked about enough, but a lot of women regret their abortions. And so you're talking about something that has lifelong trauma. 
and also it's just like there's also risk like involved um you know you risk a, there's a lot of risk involved like basically it's just like people need to stop using um thinking that abortion is like a form of birth control where if you know something doesn't happen they can just you know just it's a quick fix and it's really not um but anyways i'm not really surprised by the fact that fresh is like this because he was never a man that I felt like was respectable. And I think anyone who thought he was, I'm like, Fresh and Fit, first of all, are hypocrites. Whatever advice they give to men, they don't meet the qualifications of the type of men that they claim they are themselves. So I'm just like, I would, I don't understand why people even listen to them to begin with because I'm just like ugh. they're not men I would ever even consider dating like they have no respect for women they treat women like objects that's like the biggest ick any man can give me a man who don't respect women is unattractive in my eyes in my book so how women be dealing with those types of men, I don't know. Because your I could never. Personally, I it could not be me. I am not someone who can tolerate that, those types of men. And the crazy thing is, there's literally always women who are willing to date them. But like I said, those types of men lie. And unfortunately, too many women fall for men like fresh and fit. And, like I said, the situation all around is just sad. Like, I would not wish anyone to be in a situation like that. And also, it's embarrassing that he doesn't know how to take accountability for his, like, his actions. Like, the women don't get pregnant on their own at the end of the day. And if a woman, why is it that... Women have no problem. Most women have no problem taking responsibility or accountability. But these men be running. Running for the hills. So yeah. Personally, I would say that's why one of the main benefits of waiting till marriage. Like, uh, a lot of people. And here's the thing. I don't understand why people get upset when people do mention like abstinence or celibacy because the thing is even if people are like well marriage doesn't guarantee that you know a man won't leave i'm just like but without marriage you literally have nothing you have no guarantee you have no security you know if a man breaks up divorces he got alim alimony the wife usually gets some sort of, you know, there's actually consequences for the man or for the relationship ending when it's a marriage versus, oh, that's just my boyfriend. I also don't understand how women will be with a man for like 10 plus years. And I know there's women who claim, you know, they don't need a ring. They don't care about marriage baby like here's the thing this is how i always say about it. it with every relationship you get in you're either gonna be with that person forever or you're gonna break up those are the only two options so if you already are like i'm with this person i don't see myself with any other person why be so scared of marriage like isn't that what you're already pretty much committed to and then it really just be like, y'all are doing everything married people do except actually be married. Which, in my opinion, makes it worse. Because it's like, you're pretending to be something that you're not. Like, you have the roles of husband and wife, but you're not actually committed to that person in that way. Um, I don't know. I personally think marriage 
um, is important. It also just establishes actual actual family units, you know. You have men out here with multiple children, multiple baby mothers. You know, that family tree is all over the place. And it really shouldn't be like that. The problem is there's not enough women who are willing to be like, hey, one, stop risking your life by having sex with men who aren't committed to you. And to me, if they're not married to you, they're not committed. I, I don't know how I was to say it other than it's just like, boyfriend really don't mean nothing. Fiance. I mean, fiance is better than boyfriend, but you know, fiance is still not your husband. I've seen people break off engagement. So really, until that man is your husband, do not have sex. That's my advice. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Y'all can take it or leave it, but... All I can say is I've never had to worry about pregnancy scares, STD scares, you know, and quite honestly, I'm happy being single. Like, I know there's, there's a lot of people who feel as though, you know, if you're single at a certain age, you're, like, missing out on something. Personally, I'm not really interested in dating. At the moment, I'm, like, I don't hate, hate dating. I'm not, like, I never want to date ever. I'm just not really, it's just not something I'm focused on right now. It's not something I'm super concerned about at the moment either. So, I kind of just see it as... If I meet the right person and I feel that it's the right time, I wouldn't have an issue dating someone. But as of right now, I don't really see that happening. I'm not concerned. I'm not worried about it. It's not something that I feel like I really, really need at this point in my life. And I'm okay with that. So... And I'm really the only person who has to be okay with that because at the end of the day, it's my life. I'm the one who has to live my life. Um, but yeah, it's just, it was just, uh, it's a sad situation. And woman, do yourselves a favor, save yourself the headache of dealing with trash men like that. And if that man's not your husband, he, you just keep it pushing. Until that man is your husband, he has not proven anything to you. And y'all gotta stop giving men who aren't your husband all of the benefits of, you know. It's really just like, like, I guess the best way to say it is like, stop giving wife privileges to men who aren't your husband. And honestly, the reason a lot of men don't care about being married is because they can get all of the benefits of marriage without actually having to commit to women nowadays. You know, the men ba main benefits men have, children, you know, a wife who's taking care of the home and all the other stuff. Like, all of these benefits that men get, and they don't even have to be committed to the woman now. And it's really, woman, you have that, you have 100% um, control and power over that. Like, that is no, you don't get yourself in that position unless you willingly give that to a man. Or give that to someone. Okay, let's set our makeup. I think it actually turned out cute. Alright, I gotta get dressed now and I am late. So, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.